Asanteni sana tunaweza kuketi. The World President for Women's Ministries Asanteni President for Women's Ministries Colonel and Kiyama all leaders of the Salvation Army Women's Ministry present members of the Salvation Army Women's Ministry present soldiers in the Army of the Lord distinguished partners and friends of the Salvation Army good afternoon ebut salimiane bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe tena asanteni I am honored to join all of you today in commemorating a century on unwavering dedication to ministry and service to the most vulnerable in our society. I wish to congratulate the Salvation Army, Kenya East Territory leadership and members on attaining 100 years in Kenya. Bongezi. Receive greetings from our president, Dr. William Ruto, who shares in the joy of this momentous occasion and sends his best wishes on your 100th anniversary. I extend a special welcome to General Lyndon Buckingham and Commissioner Brownie Buckingham. Commissioner Brownie, it is my hope that during your time here, you have experienced the warmth of our Kenyan hospitality and had the opportunity to explore some of our nation's unique attractions. Distinguished ladies, when the history of Kenya is told, it's weaved together with the history of Salvation Army in Kenya. Allow me to share a bit of what I learned about your origins as I acknowledge that you have more of your history than I do. The story is built around three railway builders, Captain Maldon, Mrs. Heather, and Miss Dolly Gray, who came to Kenya in 1896 to work on the building of the Kenya-Uganda Railway. The three railway builders converted many to Christianity through their personal evangelism. And by the year 1910, a few members of the Salvation Army could be seen coming together in camps for Christian fellowship. The journey of Salvation Army that we are celebrating today started a hundred years ago and will continue for many, many years until our Lord and Savior comes back to take us home. I encourage all of you to share your stories and celebrate how far the Lord has brought you. It is biblical. Psalms 78 verse 4 in the Passion Translation says, we've heard true stories from our fathers about our rich heritage. We will continue to tell our children and not hide from the rising generation the great marvels of our God. Miracles and power that have brought us all this far, end of quote. Distinguished ladies, being one of the earliest churches in East Africa, the Salvation Army has consistently played an important role in bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ to the people of our nation. Your work in Kenya serves, your work in Kenya deserves accolades because you did not follow the easy path. You ventured where you were needed most and in conditions that, are, that were not comfortable, exemplifying the mantra 
of being soldiers of Christ. You have diligently served humanity through various initiatives, including educational establishment, health institutions, water and sanitation projects, and emergency relief. The work of the Salvation Army in Kenya, exemplified by initiatives such as the Thika School for the Blind, echoes the sentiments expressed in James chapter 1, verses 27, which defines true religion as caring for the vulnerable and keeping oneself unstained from the world. Your efforts in uplifting the orphaned, widowed, and afflicted are a testament of your service to God. Many have been transformed, and in turn, they have become change agents in their communities and the nation at large. Looking at the work that the Salvation Army has been engaging in, I find a lot of areas of alignment with the programs in my office, as well as the government strategy known as the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, BETA, whose focus is on agriculture, micro, small, and medium enterprises, affordable housing, healthcare, and the digital and creative economy. These common points of interest can become avenues of collaboration. Distinguished ladies, in November 2023, I gladly accepted the request to be the voice of the children of Kenya. This aligns with the Salvation Army's program that deals with anti-human trafficking and currently operating in seven counties. We will be launching a child safety and protection program in April this year, God willing. We invite the Salvation Army to partner with us in this program. Thank you very much, Asante Sana. Ladies, you might ask why child safety and protection. Children represent the most vulnerable in any community. Families worldwide are under threat. Parents are under pressure to provide for their families globally as well as locally. There is an increase in cases of violence and abuse to children. The trend is growing. Incidences of trafficking, abandonment, abuse, and abortion are on the rise. We must take action. We must fight for our children and stand for our families. I urge all of us to make time for children. We must care for them, love, teach, instill the right values, and show them the way which is God. God is pleased when we are one. As Psalms 133, one says, and I quote, look how good and pleasing it is when families live together as one. My passion for women and the need for them to be economically empowered started 25 years ago. For the last 14 years, we have impacted more than 240,000 households through Joyful Women, a table banking-based economic empowerment program where members meet every month to save, borrow, and invest money from the table to start and grow their businesses, enabling them to repay the loans. I see a lot of opportunities that my office and the Salvation Army Women's Ministry can leverage on. My team will reach out to your team as we are keen to work with you for the betterment of our women, children, and nation. I also invite the Salvation Army to partner with the government by being goodwill ambassadors of the various programs being implemented by the government, including nationwide tree growing, vocational training, food production, and affordable housing. <laughs> Dear ladies, may the words of William Booth inspire every engagement by the Salvation Army. He said, and I quote, faith and work should travel side by side, step answering to step, 
like the legs of men walking. First faith, and then works, and then faith again, and then works again, until they can scarcely distinguish which is the one and which is the other. End of quote. In closing, please accept my heartfelt gratitude for the warm reception and the invitation to this century celebration. I wish you God's blessings as the church marches forward towards the next century of serving God and humanity. Thank you for your kind attention. God bless the Salvation Army and God bless Kenya. God bless you. Asante ni sana. Wacha ni seme tu kidogo. Let me just give a small testimony also of my close interaction with Salvation Army. As you know very well, I'm born in Western Kenya, and I want to believe a colonel and that there's a lot of Salvation Army in Western Kenya. And so a dear friend of mine brought me very close to Salvation Army. She was one of my best friends in high school. Her name is Rachel Kuso. Now she's Rachel Otieno. She lives in Kisumo. And she told me, and the thing that I admired so much about Salvation Army was playing the tambourine. I don't know. You call it something else now. Wakati nilikuwa nakuja, niliomba mungu na nikatamani sana na nikasema ningependa kuona wamamu wa Salvation Army wakicheza iyo tamborin. Na kwa hivu asanteni sana kwa kutupatia nafasi mzuri ya kuweza kukua hapa pamoja na nyinyi na nataka kusema Colonel Ann kwamba wakati wa wata amba muna tuita ili tuweze kushirikiana pamoja na nyinyi tuko tayari kufanya hivyo. Kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki, mnaposherekea hii miaka mia moja, wacha tuseme kwamba Mungu atatuongoza pia kama vile nimesema kwa miaka mingine mia moja ambayo iko mbele. Na mi nimefurahi tena maana naona kwamba katika Salvation Army hata mnalete watoto, mnafundisha wasichana wadogo ili pia siku moja wasimame kama sisi kina mama. Asante ni sana. Thank you so much, uh, uh, sister, for coming all the way from New Zealand. Enjoy Kenya, and thank you for the preaching that has touched our hearts. Your testament and your testimony this morning really resonates with many of us to say that loving Jesus is everything in life. Thank you so much. When you go back, pass our greetings to your home and to the other people of Salvation Army across the globe. God bless you. Mama, ili uweze kuzawadiwa na kina mama hawa. Karibuni. You know Ada? Yes. Uh -huh. First daughter. They are very important in my, my culture. They speak for the family. We came all the way and picked her. Yes. She belonged to us. <laughs> Mama, we are proud of you. Yes. I was here when the election were going on. I saw how you were praying. We always want our first ladies to be people of God. We are solidly behind you. We pray that the Lord will use you. Thank you for coming. This is part of some of the skills our ladies are involved and our young girls. So we say we should give it to you. May God bless you. Thank you. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Naomba sasa tusimame. Tumruhusu mama wa taifa kuondoka. Asante sana. <laughs> 